this is Justice. Welcome to a Black Ops 3 commentary video where I'm playing some free run on the expert difficulty while I talk about the game's multiplayer balancing system. I feel like an element of Treyarch games is they give you a high time to kill, which is in theory supposed to mean that a lot of gunfights last longer and actually feel, you know, more fair, but I feel like it's the exact opposite. Notice that this is all my personal biased opinion and does not reflect on the game objectively speaking nor anyone else's opinion. Personally, I feel like the high time to kill only creates a situation where guns who have, ironically, a, a short time to kill, you'll end up getting killed by those even faster, such as the VMP, and in some cases, weirdly enough, the HVK because of its low fire, uh, sorry, its high fire rate. What this do then does is it creates a situation where you feel like you have to use these guns or else you can't kill people, and that sucks because that ruins weapon balancing. That means that the game isn't particularly fair. And by fair, I don't mean every gun is the same and every gun works the exact same way. I just mean that every gun has a fighting chance. In non-Treyarch games like Advanced Warfare and Ghosts and Modern Warfare 3, a low time to kill basically meant that people died practically instantly from everything. So in a weird way, the games were balanced because everyone died instantly from any gun. So it was less about what gun you're using and more about how you use it. That doesn't mean that there aren't in fact still overpowered guns, quote-unquote, like the ASM-1 and um, Advanced Warfare, everybody knows that gave some people some trouble. However, it never felt like you couldn't stop the ASM-1, it just meant that it was a bit better than the already decent guns in the game. Now with Black Ops 3, this is an element of Treyarch games in general ever since Black Ops 1, so I'm hardly going to say that it's just something that appeared overnight. However, I do think that it creates a situation where unfortunately, you can be shooting someone for a very long time, they turn around, they shoot you once, and you die instantly, and that's quite frustrating because if the whole point of a high time to kill is to give you enough time to fight back, how are you supposed to fight back when these weapons are gunning you down instantly and you only, you're shooting someone forever and they don't die? Now, for example, this might be latency, this might be a lag problem, a client-to-client -client lag problem where they actually shot you for the full amount of time it would take to kill you, but because of the latency, it felt like you died instantly, whereas you were sh shooting forever. Maybe when you shoot them, they die instantly. Who knows? A lot of the time, though, there is this feeling that you are helpless, that the second someone shoots you, and mind you, there's no flinch perk in Black Ops 3, so what that means is when you get shot sometimes, sometimes that's it. Sometimes that's the end of it. Sometimes if you miss a single shot on someone, they'll turn around and shoot you instantly. That's it, you're done, because your weapon flies off the screen and you can't even shoot them back. So a high time to kill on paper seems to think that it's more fair, it gives more people a chance, but really, in a game where weapons with high fire rate basically stagger you for ages and just kill you instantly, well then, it's not really as fair as you think it would be. Now, you know, I'm not trying to pin all the blame on the VMP, and the VMP's major weakness, like most SMGs of that type, is low accuracy, so that isn't to say that it's overpowered and should be nerfed or anything like that. However, it does feel that, for the most part, when you're getting one bursted by the um, the XM2, I think it's called, or you're getting insta-shot down by the VMP, it feels like, well, why should I be using any other weapon? And then the weapon that you like, the weapon that you enjoy, you feel like, why should I be using this when this weapon's better? Like, my favorite weapon is the ICR, and the ICR is great, but I sometimes feel like, why should I be using this ICR when it takes forever to kill someone? Sometimes way too long, when I should just be using the VMP or the Vesper and just, brrr, just gunning people down instantly. That's just how I personally feel. Reminder, this is very soon into the game's development. The game literally just came out. It's only been over a week, so nothing I'm saying is definitive proof of anything. Nothing I'm saying is the objective truth, and you're free to you know, view the balancing however you want. I personally prefer the Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer type games balancing, and I've always enjoyed those games more. And as much as I enjoy Black Ops games, this has only been a personal graph for myself, so let me know what you guys think. See you next time.